Deep in the heart of Zululand, South Africa lies Thula Thula, a private game reserve. This sanctuary was the passion project of Lawrence Anthony, the Elephant Whisperer. He dedicated his life to providing a safe haven for animals. He believed in understanding, not domination. Thula Thula stands as a testament to his commitment to conservation. Lawrence's love for animals knew no bounds. From the smallest creatures to the mighty elephant he treated all with respect and compassion. Thula Thula flourished under his care becoming a beacon of hope for endangered species. Lawrence earned his nickname, the Elephant Whisperer, through an extraordinary act of compassion and understanding. He encountered a herd of nine elephants labeled as troublemakers. These elephants had been deemed dangerous due to their repeated escapes from previous reserves. They were considered a nuisance, a threat to human settlements. Many advocated for their culling. But Lawrence saw something different. He saw elephants who were scared, traumatized by their past experiences. He believed he could reach them, could earn their trust. And so with unwavering courage, he set out to do the impossible. He camped out with the elephants for weeks, talking to them, singing to them, showing them he meant no harm. He learned their language, their social cues, their fears and desires. He discovered that elephants like humans have distinct personalities, complex emotions, and incredible memories. Slowly, patiently, he chipped away at the wall of fear that separated them. He earned their respect and eventually their affection. The matriarch Nana was initially wary. She had seen human cruelty, but Lawrence's patience won her over. She became his bridge to the herd. Their bond deepened daily. He could read their moods and needs. He joked about understanding their language, but it was a profound truth. Lawrence achieved rare interspecies communication. He taught us elephants are intelligent emotional beings. With respect, we can coexist and protect them. On March 2, 2012, tragedy struck. Lawrence Anthony, the man who spoke the language of elephants, passed away from a heart attack. The news sent shockwaves through Thula Thula. The staff mourned the loss of their beloved leader, a man who was more than just an employer but a mentor, a friend, a father figure. The world mourned the loss of a true conservation hero, a man who dedicated his life to protecting the most vulnerable amongst us. But perhaps the deepest sorrow was felt by those who knew him best, the elephants of Thula Thula. They had lost their protector, their friend, the one who understood them like no other. The question on everyone's mind was, would the elephants sense his passing? Would they understand that the man who had loved and protected them was gone? The answer, as it turned out, was both remarkable and deeply moving. Two days after Lawrence's death, something extraordinary happened. The herd of elephants, led by the matriarch Nana, arrived at Lawrence's house. They had walked for 12 hours straight, a journey they had never made before, to reach the home of the man they loved. They stood there for hours, silent and mournful, as if paying their respects. Some say elephants have an uncanny ability to sense death, to grieve like humans do. Whether they understood the finality of Lawrence's passing, one thing was clear, they felt the weight of his absence. Their silent tribute was a testament to the incredible bond they shared with him. It was a bond built on trust, respect and a deep understanding that transcended the boundaries of species. It was a reminder that animals too feel loss and grief and are capable of expressing it in their own way. In the years since Lawrence's passing, the elephants of Thula Thula have continued to make their pilgrimage to his house, arriving on the anniversary of his death as if to pay homage to the man who changed their lives. Their annual visit is a poignant reminder of the enduring power of interspecies connection. Lawrence Anthony's legacy lives on not just in the hearts of those who knew him, but in the very soul of Thula Thula. His story is a testament to the power of compassion, the importance of conservation, and the extraordinary bond that can exist between humans and animals. It is a story that continues to inspire, to remind us that even in the face of great loss, love and respect for all living creatures can prevail.